Today we are aboard a splendid 60-foot yacht, the Cranky 60 HT, or hardtop. This size is perfect. I'll explain why. It is ideal for an owner who wants all the amenities, but at the same time wants to be independent. Also to manage it, to maneuver it. It is in fact powered by Volvo Penta with IPS propulsion and the maneuvering joystick. I learned to drive boats using the control levers, and when they invented the joystick, I thought, well, now everyone can do my job. Ora però dovete sapere che questi strumenti funzionano perfettamente solo se le barche sono state progettate e Now though, you should know that these tools work perfectly only if the boats have been designed expressly for their use. But you should also know that Cranky has used Volvo Penta, the IPS propulsion and maneuvering joystick ever since they were invented and so has accumulated considerable experience on these systems. And these maneuvers are foolproof. Cranky produces three different 60-foot boats, the hardtop, the softtop and the flying bridge. And the fact is that to understand which is the right one for you, well, you have to try them all, as we here at the Boat Show do. We're going slowly along the Corno River, which joins Cranky's testing center, Italo Monzino, and their dock to the Adriatic Sea, where we can pick up speed. In the meantime, I'll take the opportunity to admire the view. Better to look at the boat. The bow is well organized. The mattress, the headrest, the sun visor, the controls for the radio, the cup holders. And this couch is very comfortable. This just seems like carbon. It looks a lot like it. This is how they make the boats. High railing with also handrails up high. Like this, they are not bothersome or in any way. Molti cantieri realizzano le loro imbarcazioni con il minimo indispensabile. Cranky installs Many yards build their boats with the bare minimum. Cranky installs everything that is useful and comfortable. And the cockpit is a good example. In addition to the usual furniture, there is a kitchenette. Additional seating for two, you can install the second control station. And also, if you use the boat outside for the summer season, which I recommend that you do, you can fix this whole area with awnings. Look at the overhanging sunbathing area. It gives another meter of sunbathing surface, as if 18.5 meters was not enough. The boat has plenty of additional equipment, such as the submersible platform. Navigating doesn't mean to just run on the water, but also move in displacement, that is, slowly, to enjoy the journey. They have designed the salon so that from the sofa you can see the whole panorama. And so it pays to go to beautiful places. The dining area is next to the helm, and while someone is driving, someone else prepares a snack. The kitchen is perfectly equipped. Then when you arrive at your destination, you can drink a glass of your favorite wine, kept at the right temperature. The owner's cabin is at the center of the hull. It is wide, it is tall, and has the bottom bed. This is an advantage. You rest better because the movement of the hull is less noticeable. The chaise lounge overlooking the sea is the best place to read a book. Without leaving the cab, you enter the locker room or in the bathroom. Guests have a dedicated bow cabin. Even here, the height is considerable. In addition to the bunk, there is a chair. The bathroom is in the suite and spacious. The third cabin can be double or twin, and this has its own dedicated bathroom. Cranky is a master in the use of space. Look at how they use this area. Storage here, 
under the steps and still under the stairs, a washing machine and refrigerator. For the galley, there is also room under the floor. Indeed, look at this dunnage. Anti-vibration rubber and cork, light and soundproof. By being in displacement, we allowed all of the equipment and, above all, the engines to warm up. But now, since the low speed phase was quite long, we can accelerate gradually. In the engine room, we have two D11 engines from 725 horses. But on this boat, you can also choose to calibrate to 625 horses. I want to listen in silence to see if there are any vibrations and at this speed, 12 knots, I would say that you surf in absolute silence. But let's see however, when we start to plane. I'm not using trim tabs, I want to understand how the hull behaves without any other technical or mechanical service. OK, we glide. 13 and a half knots, and the indicator tells me that the angle of incidence at this time is four and a half degrees. But there is no difficulty in observing the area where we're going to surf, and also right next to the bow you can see very well. I can properly see the sea, the waves, the boat. Okay, the situation is good, already good at slow speeds. This 60-footer is exactly 18 metres and 52 centimetres and weighs 23 and a half tonnes. But at this pace, 18 knots, it controls perfectly. It immediately responds to the manoeuvres that are imposed on the rudder. OK, today is a winter day. In the sea there is nobody, but in summer these waters could be very crowded. And knowing that you can so easily change the boat's direction gives a certain level of confidence. It will be to the credit of the site designers, it will be because of the propulsion system Volvo Penta, but the size of this giant does not bother me. In any case, if you want to employ a skipper, there is a cabin also for him. If you are really thinking of a 60-footer, you have to observe carefully how it behaves at the most commonly used cruising speeds, those between 20 and 25 knots. For example, we are now at 22.5 knots and I have lowered the interceptors a bit, bringing the angle of incidence to 2.5 degrees. In this way, we are able to save a bit of fuel, 6.7 litres per mile at this speed. Now, how can I explain to you the level of comfort on this boat at this speed? I have no idea, but it's really nice. OK, we can take control of the situation. Volvo says that the D11, these engines rated at 725 horsepower, must reach to make the most of maximum engine speed of 2,500 revolutions a minute. Let's see, 2,300, 2,350. Maybe I can cancel the interceptors. 2,450, 2,500 revs a minute. Here we are. And now the speed is 35.4 knots, 35.5, fantastic. The fact is that the comfort level, even at maximum speed, has not changed. Now let's try a little turn. It's docile, it is precise, is soft, and there's also the open hardtop but the wind does not enter, just a little bit of a refreshing breeze. It would not be the case now in the middle of winter, but in summer it is certainly pleasant. The angle of skidding is accentuated, but since remains constant at this time, even 14 degrees, it isn't bothersome. It is not perceived as a feeling of risk or danger, even by passengers who are less used to sailing. Infine il prezzo. 
Lo so. Finally, the price. I know it's one of the less pleasant topics of conversation, but it is also one of the reasons why it is worth examining a yacht cranky 60 HT. This costs just over a million, taxes and accessories excluded.